Hey guys, this is uh, the beginning of the actual Shinso X Listener series. Uh, this took me I don't know how long to make, but um, it's seven pages long. Also, I just want to thank you guys for uh, so many subscribers. I wasn't expecting this. But why do you all have to be dirty sinners? Why do you all have to be dirty sinners? Freaking 200, or not the 20k views on that one video that I hated. Like, my soul left my body when I was reading that, yet you guys still liked it. Aside from my crappy pauses. I might redo that video, but might. Anyways, let's get into it, and I hope you enjoy it. Like always, feedback, please. It happened so long ago, yet it felt like yesterday. The vivid vision and the sounds of your parents getting arrested for their crimes. The constant thievery they got away with because of you. Now one thing to remember, you were only a child. You were only six. You didn't know any better. You thought everything your parents did or said was law. And now, a few years later, the guilt of your actions weighed over you like a boulder. You sighed as you finished getting ready for school. Your quirk, Cubi, forced you to wear slightly opaque goggles slash shades everywhere you went. Which was very hindering, but you had to do it unless you wanted unnecessary attention from anyone just looking into your eyes. You put on your roller skates and headed out the door. Your time at Nabuhai was coming to a close, seeing as you had applied to attend UA. You were halfway to the school when you saw him. The same boy who never failed to fill your stomach with butterflies. Hitoshi Shinso. You were so caught up in your own mind looking at him, to the point where you almost fell over from the lack of proper balance. Hitoshi, feeling like someone was looking directly into his soul, turned his head and looked in your direction. Hmm. He turned his head and looked forward once more. You couldn't bring yourself to stare into his eyes, no matter how much you tried. No matter how much you knew him as a fellow classmate. As a matter of fact, you never socialized with much of anyone at all. Especially since no one would trust the child of a duo of criminals. Not to mention how you used to use your power. In fact, you could say you were from the same cloth as Shinso. People treated harshly for quirks that neither of you could help but be born with. The both of you reached school, Shinso put his bike on the bicycle lock, and you rolled over to your locker and changed shoes. You walked yourself to class. As you came into the door of the empty room, you put a bento box on Hitoshi's desk and sat down in your seat, waiting for class to start. You weren't sure if this would be your last day or only chance to try and confess your feelings to him. Even if you lacked the courage, you still wanted to do something nice for him. Hitoshi entered. He acknowledged the bento box and took his seat. Soon, the class began to fill up with students waiting for the school day to commence. And the non-stop bad-mouthing of Shinso began. You just looked down at your desk quietly. You felt guilty and bad for him, but you were too scared to say anything. You did. You really did want to speak up. But you just couldn't find the courage. Morning classes and your cheerleader practice came and went. It was now lunchtime. You sat outside in a little empty table. As some of the other tables filled, you looked up 
and to your surprise, just a little ways away from you was Shinso. He seemed to be all alone just like you were, but you noticed something very shocking. Now, you expected that he might try eating what you made for him, but you only thought that he'd shove it to the side after trying a bit. However, to much of your amazement, he seemed to take a liking to it. Feeling almost as cold as ice from your gaze, he looked up at you once more. The both of you just sat there, making eye contact for a few seconds. When you realized what was happening, you felt a deep blush come to your face and you looked down at your table. You didn't notice it, but Shinso slightly chuckled and smirked. The rest of lunch flew by, along with the cleaning period and afternoon classes. The teacher had just gotten done with their lecture when the silent yet noticeable trash talking about Shinso started up again. And like usual, you just sat there feeling awful about the situation. It would have stayed like that forever if it hadn't been for this. He'll never be a hero, especially with that type of quirk. So why did he even try applying to UA? Even if Hitoshi was keeping to himself and laughing it off, you refused to let this go any further. Even though you were shy and scared to tell everyone that they were wrong, you stood up and spoke. Just because Hitoshi might have a quirk that seems scary doesn't mean he'll be a villain. In fact, he'd make a better hero than any of you ever would. Now that was a bold statement, but it was one that you were willing to stand by till your very bitter end. Hitoshi looked up at you, surprised. But of course, a mass majority of the entire class knew about you and your quirk, and the horrid history that you had with it. How would you know, villain's child? They were right. What would a villain's child know? But still, you persisted. Well, some villains are only the way they are because of people like you. People who put down others for things that they can't help. Maybe if everyone here and beyond could learn to be more respectful, we wouldn't have such a big villain issue. With that, the dismissal bell rang and the other students left the classroom. You packed your bag and walked over to the door. But you paused and looked over at a still slightly amused Shinso. Hey, Hitoshi. I'm sorry. I should have said something sooner. I really should have. You made your way to your locker and switched out your shoes for your roller skates. Rolling out of the building and towards the exit gate, you heard something. Footsteps! But before you could figure out who it was, you felt something force you to the ground. The idea of torture immediately entered into your mind. You tried to push yourself back up to your feet and skate away, but you felt a hand grab onto your ankle, another one grab onto the bottom of your school uniform. The hand that held your ankle moved, grabbing onto your shirt. They pulled down the lower part of your outfit and ripped off your blazer and your collared t-shirt. You started struggling and trying to get away, but to no avail. Ah, help me! You shrieked, thinking that they do far worse than torture you. You were so focused on the situation and trying to run away that you didn't hear the sound of more footsteps. You were surprised by a certain deep voice. Don't lay another hand on her. The grip on you recoiled. You along in the, with the assailant looked in the direction of the voice. It was Shinso! The bully sneered and mumbled something before leaving you and Hitoshi. Hitoshi, I... Ah! You remembered that you had no other clothes than the bottom of your uniform. You pulled it back up and 
covered your face with your hands, blushing. Even though your lower half was covered, the upper part of your torso being exposed would still be embarrassing and awkward. Do you have a phone? You nodded and reached into your book bag, pulling out your cell phone and calling your foster mother, Midnight. You relayed everything to her. You hung up with tears swelling in your eyes. You got into fetal position and started crying. Shinso unbuttoned his blazer and offered it to you. Here, you can borrow this. Huh? Oh, thank you, Hitoshi. Thank you so much. You said as you hesitantly took the blazer and put it on. As you wiped the tears from your eyes, you heard a car pull up. Oh, she's here, I'm gonna guess. Picking up your torn shirt, you got up and skated towards the gate, but you stopped and turned your head back to Shinso. I mean it, Hitoshi. I really do believe that you'll be an amazing hero someday. You turned your head back and skated towards the car and got in. How are you faring? Wait, where did you get that? I thought that you said someone. Oh. Right. The boy who saved me, he let me borrow his blazer. Oh. Mom, please. Not right now. Let's just go. Oh, alright. I'll stop messing with you. With that, your conversation closed and your tiring day ended. But before you went to bed that night, something stayed on your mind. Would your performance in UA's entrance exam a few months back be enough to make the hero course? Okay, I did it. The ending took me so long to do. Oh my god. But, uh, yeah. I hope that you guys like this one. I'm not the best Arthur, like I said. I still need a lot of pointers on how to be better at this. Because, like, I'm, li I'm, like, listening to people's uh, criticisms on the internet about uh, fan fiction that has been turned into a movie. And it was, like, this one girl, she just went off on how much she hated every interaction. It was like, oh, they did bad. And it's like, okay, the thing is, Wattpad, it has its hidden gems. But just like gems, you need to do some deep digging to find them. So you'll never know when you come across something good and when you'll come across something bad. Just give it a bit more of a chance before you just write off Wattpad as horrible. But yeah, I'm using my own writing abilities for this, so yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and Bakugo X Listener is going to be even more darker than this one, like, ooh. because I messed up in the head, but I love all of you. Yet again, thank you so much for the amount of subscribers that I have. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know what I should do for, like, a, you know subscriber special because at first I was gonna do something whenever I was like at 100 subscribers but then you guys kind of just like blew me out of the water with uh more subscribers so now I'm like I feel bad uh I'm gonna try to write faster even though I'm probably gonna start barking at people because I just the second that I start writing something, I just, like, my temper gets shorter and shorter until I have a break. And it's just, like, I don't want to have a short temper. <laughs> but, yeah. Like I said, hope you liked it. And, uh, yeah. I shall see you later. Ciao, ciao.